young adult, I um, applied for a job as a, uh, a tenor and a quartet in um, Temple Israel in South Orange, New Jersey. I think uh, Rabbi Weiner was the rabbi. And one Friday night, the cantor uh, uh, all of a sudden was stricken with laryngitis, and he um, and the, the, the president of the congregation says, Martin, you know all the responses. Put on a robe and get out there and do, do your thing. <laughs> so I, uh, I did, and uh, I was pleased with what I did. And uh, the interesting thing is, um, after the service, a, uh, a congregant came over to me and says, Oh, Cantor, you have such a beautiful voice. And I said, My dear, thank you, but I'm not the Cantor. I just sing in the choir. Well, that just... Uh, I, it, it made a very big impression on me, and then I found out about Hebrew Union College School of Sacred Music, and that was the biggest turning point in my life. My life became then focused, uh, and uh, it was it was great. It was a great experience for me, and and from that day on, uh, my life became t changed and totally enriched. Found that there was a position available at. Uh, Congregation Share at Israel. I had never been outside of New Jersey other than New York. And here I, uh, as, a, a low, as, a can, as a bachelor, uh, I took my convertible and I, uh, st and I uh, first I sent a tape. The tape was a Husky Venu uh, by Kachko. They accepted the tape, they said they'd like, to, they'd like to engage me. So as I said, I drove cross country and I came to Sheriff Israel. And uh, that was the beginning of a fantastic, enriching, marvelous, great experience for me for the last 43 years. And I was able to sing glorious music uh, Friday after Friday after Friday and Saturday and Saturday. And uh, it was in a classical style, uh, very different from today. It was easier then because people seemed to be satis more or less satisfied with what, what, what we presented. Uh, today is quite different. A newly invested chazan has to um, be very flexible, it has to uh, appreciate uh, where we came from and understand that, as I said before, to bridge the present with the past. The legacy I'd like to leave is uh, that um, I was uh, privileged and fortunate to be, uh, be part of this magnificent synagogue. I mean, when I, when every Friday night, whenever, whenever I sing, any, uh, whether it's a husky vein or whatever it was, I'd close my eyes and just, and just be part of this magnificent sanctuary and feel the presence of God.